Hi everybody, we're taking a look at what we did today in class. So, today we worked on solving equations with variables on both sides of the equation. So normally as I have here, we would solve an equation 2x plus 4 equals 8 or something like that. However, in this case we would want to add a variable to both sides of our equation. We're going to learn how we're going to solve that today. So our first one, we have 6r plus 7 equals 13 plus 7r. So what we want to do this time is we want to get all of our variables onto one side of the equation, and then all of our constants or numbers on the other side. So here we have the example, we're going to have r equals some number, or some number is equal to r. So in order to do that, we're going to use inverse operations to move all of our variables to one side of the equation. So we have 6r plus 7 equals 13 plus 7r. So our first inverse operation we're going to perform is to subtract 6r from both sides of the equation. That gives us 0r plus 7 equals 13 plus 1r. Here we've removed 6r, so that's going to cancel out, give us 0. 7r minus 6r equals r, and we get 7 equals 13 plus 1r, or just r. So next step is to perform a normal inverse operation. We're going to subtract 13 from both sides of our equation, and we get that negative 6 is equal to r. The key here is that we want to subtract 6r from both sides of the equation to eliminate our variables from one side of the equation. Looking at our next set of problems, we had 13 minus 4x equals 1 minus x. Once again, we want to get rid of our variables on one side of the equation, so we chose to get rid of the variables on this side of the equation. So we have 13 minus 4x equals 1 minus x. We're going to add 4x to both sides, thereby eliminating the 4x on this side of the equation. So we get 13 plus 0 equals 1 plus 3x. So if 13 equals 1 plus 3x, we're going to, we move over here, subtract 1 from both sides to get 12 equals 3x, and then we divide both sides by 3 to get 4 equals x. And that's how we're going to solve that problem there. Once again, our key was to eliminate our variables on one side of the equation, and then move them all to the other side of the equation. Also, I'm going to just hit pause in the video and then resume when you finish these two questions. These are really good at-bats for you. Alrighty, fantastic. So this is 3B, uh, actually. This is 3B right here. And then I'm going to go over how to do 3A afterwards. So this is 3B. We have 7A minus 3 equals 3 plus 6A. So we remove 6A from both sides of our equation. See, we take away 6A there because that's inverse operations. We're using an inverse operation to eliminate 6A from both sides of our equation. We want to get rid of this, turn this into a 0. So we have 7a minus 6a gives us 1a minus 3 equals 3 plus 0. We can get rid of that. And then we do a minus 3 equals 3. So to get rid of this 3 here, our inverse operation we're going to perform, because it's minus 3, is to add 3 to both sides, and we get that a is going to equal 6. For 3a now, for 3a, we have n minus 3n equals 14 minus 4n. So this one, the first thing we need to do is combine like terms. n minus 2, 3n gives us negative 2n equals 14 minus 4n. We're going to add 4n to both sides of our equation, adding 4n to both sides of our equation. Negative 2n plus 4n gives us 2n equals 14. Right, because we want to eliminate this 4n from both sides. We're going to divide both sides by 2. We get that n equals 7. All right, so once again, we're just using inverse operations to eliminate variables this time. Normally, we'd eliminate constants like that. This time, we're just getting all of our variables to one side of our equation. Great. Number four and five, I want you to pause and solve these two, and when you're done, you can resume the video. Alrighty, and for 4a, we're going to do this one last. 4a, um, I just skipped that one altogether because I realized that it was it's a challenge problem. Feel free to try on your own. The answer is 6 equals k, but don't worry too much about that one. We're going to work more on that later. But for b, we want to get, in once, we want to get into the form once again of n equals some number. We want to get in the form of n equals some number. So we have negative 16 plus 3n equals negative 8 minus 5n. So to get rid of our 3n over here, we subtract 3n from both sides, thereby giving us negative 16 equals negative 8 minus now 8n. Negative 5n minus 3n gives us negative 8n. We're going to add 8 to both sides. That gives us negative 8 equals negative 8n. Divide both sides by negative 8, and we get that 1 is equal to n. Awesome. And our last two problems here, we have 5, and we do 5a for us first over here. Sorry, 5b right there. 5a, we have 4r plus 8 plus 5 equals negative 15 minus 3r. So first thing we need to do is combine like terms. 8 and 5 are like terms. That's going to be 4r plus 13 equals negative 15 minus 3r. 
So we want to get all of our R's on the same side. So I think it's easier to add three over here to get rid of our R's over here. I'm going to add three R to both sides. R, 4R plus 3R gives us 7R plus 13 equals negative 15. These have been eliminated. So now to get our constant by itself, we're going to subtract 13 from both sides. We get 7R equals negative 28. Divide both sides by 7. And R is going to equal negative 4. Awesome. We have R equaling negative 4 for that one. And then for 5b, we have 3n minus 15 equals 7n plus n. Combine those, we get 8n. That's combining like terms right there. To eliminate, I think it's easier to move all of our n's to the side. We take away 3n from both sides. We get negative 15 equals 5n. And that means that we have to divide both sides by 5, and we get negative 3 equals n. Alrighty, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for coming. Um, make sure that we're checking this out. Make sure that we're on time and in class every day. I know I've been doing online learning for a while, but it's more important now than ever for us to keep learning, pushing, and working hard. I'm not going to stop with this, and neither should you. Thank you very much for coming, and I'll see everybody tomorrow.